Being Starfleet's most legendary captain is tough work. You have to roll around on rocky planets, dropkick aliens in their weird heads, and make sure that your shirt gets torn in an alluring way for the ladies. Sometimes you've just got to sit down and rest those drop-kicking tootsies. But where do you place that command level posterior? Not just any chair will do. We need the captain's chair. Welcome to Simple Sci-Fi. Today we're going to be building the captain's chair from Star Trek the original series. Let's get started. Now I'm going to be building the chair out of balsa wood and leather, but I do have a lot of the blueprints done for me, because what I've got here is this papercraft model that I've downloaded and printed out, uh, but instead of uh, paper, I'll be adapting it for use with uh, uh, wood and leather. So the first step is I'm going to cut out the patterns and trace them appropriately onto some balsa wood. Okay, now I've got all the parts cut out of the balsa wood. As I begin to build this, now balsa wood is not very strong, it's stronger than paper, but still has a tendency to break. The last thing I want is to have a fragile piece that our illustrious captain can't sit on. So as I build, I'm going to be making structural supports on the inside of the pieces out of these uh, struts of uh, balsa. So I'm going to be framing this on the inside as I build to give us some added strength. Now I've got all the parts and pieces uh, put together individually. Uh, we've got the chair arms. Of those, one for each side of the chair. Got the base of the chair. Well, this would be the base, but the base, the seat of the chair. The seat back. Go like that. The armrests. And I've actually got a failed experiment. Uh, I originally had a piece of balsa wood that I was going to try to curve into a cylinder to make the, the seat post. So my plan was to boil the balsa wood and be able to, to flex it and bend it into a cylinder. That, however, did not work at all. And while it became slightly flexible, not nearly flexible enough to make a cylinder. So that I've made out of cardboard. So basically, all of the parts and pieces here. Now, the chair back, this is actually just the back itself. I'm going to be putting, upholstering these pieces, which are the seat cushion, the mid backrest, and the headrest. And they will go, of course, on the seat. And then on these to these two pieces. All right, so I'm going to start putting all this together, and then I have to prime the whole thing, uh, and then I'll be putting on the finishing details like the seat upholstery and the control buttons on the arm rests. Okay, well, 
we're getting mostly put together here. Um, everything is here except for, of course, the seat is not upholstered yet. Uh, the controls on the arms. And one of the armrests that Blue is still drying on. So. But we're getting very close. Uh, next step is uh, once I get the armrest, uh, the glue dry, and, and get it shaped out the way it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm going to prime the whole thing and begin painting. Now that I've got the painting all done, the only thing left to do is the uh, side console controls and some miniature leather upholstery for the chair. Now what am I going to use for that? Got a couple of things to help me. Uh, first off, for the chair cushions, I got these gloves at the thrift store for 99 cents. And for the console buttons, I got these little jewel sticker stickers at the dollar store and some of these little jewels will work perfect for the buttons on the consoles. All right, I'm going to get started working on the final details. And there we have it. We have our finished captain's chair. Real leather seat for comfort. Got the control panels up there. Real wooden arms. And it spins. And of course, we wouldn't be complete if we didn't have the captain sit down. Perfect fit. Thank you for watching Simple Sci Fi. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.